What's up, TikTok? I'm going to teach you about the Hapono Ono prayer, which is a Hawaiian prayer that I've used a bunch of different times in my life. Sadie says hello, by the way. But in shocker, I'm in my <laughs> Boston hockey sweatshirt. Anyways, uh, the Hapono Ono prayer, if you've never heard of it before, I talked to a client about it this morning. Guy in Colorado who's going through a breakup. He's doing well at work. And things are generally going good for him, but he is struggling from a breakup. And he's been doing all the right things. He's taking cold showers, he's meditating, he's doing breath work, he's taking time to journal, he's lifting weights. He reorganized his room, he has a calendar, he's tracking everything. I'm very, very proud of him, he's crushing it. And he's still kind of plagued by thoughts about the relationship and the girl that, that broke up with him. And one of the things he opened up to me about was him having thoughts of her moving on, Obviously, he's trying to date. Uh, he's slowing down a little bit, realizing that that's more of his ego, wanting to get ahead of himself. But one thing that I taught him in order to release another person, something that was taught to me after I've been through my serious relationships, it's called the Hapono Ono Prayer. And I'm gonna butcher the spelling of it. I'm probably butchering how to actually say it. But it's a simple five-step process. You, you just say these five things, and you can say them in any order you want to but it's a prayer for reconciliation, forgiveness, healing, and just ownership. And it helps you cut the cord after a relationship. And you can do this with a family member, you can do this with a relationship, but all of these five sayings are is, thank you, I love you, I'm sorry, I forgive you, and I release you. Thank you, I'm sorry, I love you, I forgive you, I release you. Anytime that you think about the person who's hurt you, or if you're missing them, or you want to release them, or you just want to wish them well, repeating this saying hundreds if not thousands of times for as long as you need to for years or decades is a super super powerful way to just help you move on help you cut the cord i think it cut out there for a second because i was getting a phone call but saying this prayer helps you release anyone that's been a part of your life and it helps you just Take ownership of the things that you've done wrong while also wishing them well, right? Thank you, I love you, I'm sorry, I forgive you, I release you. Even if they didn't do anything wrong, even if you didn't do anything wrong, it just really helps you cut the cord. So bring this into your daily practice. If you need more, comment down below, send me a DM. A couple people have already sent me DMs and I've had free sessions with them. Right now I'm offering uh, new clients two free sessions, even if you just want to coach or talk about shit, mindset, you're working on a business, you want to know how to get better routines, let me know. That's what I'm all about. Uh, sites in the bio. And uh, yeah, hope you guys like this one. Peace.